What's up, YouTube? I'm QC. Welcome to another edition of Talking and Grubbing, where I provide the latest sports commentary while eating some good food. And I'm about to get into a little dinner I made with this broccoli and chicken. set and I'm about to break down the AFC starting with the New England Patriots versus the Houston Texans now quarterback ain't no comparison Tom Brady kills Brock Osweiler even on his worst day now the receiving matchup is pretty even between Julian Edelman and DeAndre Hopkins they both can you know stretch the field and they can also hurt you on big plays and get in the end zone but the most interesting thing I'm what we want to see in this matchup is how each defense is going to do at stopping the, each other's quarterback. Start with um, Texas defense that's led by former Patriot Vince Wilfork, Brian Cushing, and um, former last year, well, former number one draft pick, Jadavian Clowney. You know, I want to see if they can get the pressure on Brady. Can they get some sacks? Can they create turnovers? Can they get interceptions? And, you know, or be lucky to even, you know, turn those points, I mean, turn our turnovers into points. Also, on the um, Patriots side, I want to see how, you know, they're going to stop Brock Osweiler. Also, I definitely want to see how Patriots cornerback Malcolm Butler, you know, is going to contain DeAndre Hopkins from burning them for big plays down the field and, you know, stop him from getting into the end zone. You know, also, there's a lot of, New England ties on the Texans sideline. Um, head coach Bill O'Brien was an offensive coordinator for the Patriots for a while. Also, Romeo Cornell, who was also a ex-Browns coach, was the defensive coordinator for the Patriots for a long time. Matter of fact, he was the defensive coordinator when they won their first three Super Bowls. So, my prediction is New England is going to win um, pretty easily, and they're going to advance cruise into the AFC Championship game. Now, on to the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, whew, this is going to be a great matchup. I mean, you have great, um, very good quarterback play, and Ben Roethlisberger, who's just been on a tear, and also Alex Smith is not a slouch either. Um, now, the Steelers got more of the advantage in the receiving core with Antonio Brown. Uh, but also, um, Tyreek Hill has, you know, really surprised me. He's really come on down the stretch of this season. Plus, both defenses can really get to the quarterback. Also, they can create turnovers. But I'm very interested on how the Chiefs' defense is going to contain Ben Roethlisberger. Also, how their secondary is going to contain Antonio Brown. And how is that um, linebacker crew is going to stop Le'Veon Bell from, you know, gaining big yards on the ground. And also, you're going to have some pretty good coach. I think the coaching is going to decide the game between Andy Reid and Mike Tomlin. So, I've been going back and forth on this. Um on my prediction, because this is too, too tough to call. I mean, you know, they both, I mean, they're both so talented, they're, they're pretty much evenly matched. But, I'm glad to go with Pittsburgh, because Ben Roethlisberger can win a game for you anywhere. Home, road, whatever. He's proven it that he can win anywhere in the playoffs. So, I got the Steelers in a very close game. All right, that's my breakdown of the AFC Divisional Round. Look out for my NFC Divisional Round. Like, comment, share the video. And I really appreciate y'all watching my videos, but I would appreciate it even more if you subscribe to the channel. And when you do, click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you'll know when I upload new videos. You can get it on your cell phone, 
tablet, or email. Follow me on Twitter. Like me on Facebook. Till next time, y'all have a good one. I love y'all. Peace. Now I'm about to finish the rest of this dinner.